<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all, if you have a PSP, how you can back up any UMD-based game or physical game using the system itself. So for this, you're going to have to have a PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, or street model. You're also going to need to have it installed with custom firmware of some kind. Now, this particular system I'm using here is a PSP 2000. This is running 6.61 Infinity LME custom firmware, so we should be all good on this. And as you can see, I have a UMD in here already of Killzone Liberation. I just did a video where I showed how to fix up UMDs if your casing for the UMD is breaking, so you can check that out if you're having that issue. But otherwise, since I just fixed this, I'd like to back it up as well. So I'm going to show you two methods of doing this, and this is going to assume that you already have a modified PSP. If you're interested in modifying your 1, 2, or 3000 model system, I'll have a tutorial linked down below in the description for that. Now you cannot do this on a PSP Go simply because you cannot play UMD games on there. But let's go ahead and get into this assuming you have a 1, 2, 3000 or even a street model which has custom firmware on it and you have your game that you'd like to back up. The first method I'm going to show you all is going to be on the PSP itself using PSP Filer. So for this, make sure you have a way of getting your PSP's memory card connected to your PC, either through the PSP itself or by taking the memory card out and popping it into your PC. I'm going to be doing the latter because I'm using a micro SD card, so I'm just going to pop that into my PC and show you what we need to do. So for this, if you're at your PC, you can look down below in the description and there's going to be a link to PSP Filer which you can download. All you need to do is go here and download from either one of these links. I'm going to use the wololo.net direct link and now pick where you'd like to save this. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Once you have it downloaded, you can right click and extract it. It will give you a release folder and in here, you'll find a few items. So if you are on a newer custom firmware such as Infinity, you just need game right here. But all you need to do is go into game, find the filer folder, copy, and go over to your PSP's memory stick. Go into PSP, game, and paste it right there. And that is all we need. We just need that filer application. You can do the same thing if you're on a older custom firmware which has the 1.5 kernel on it. So some people who are watching might be using a old custom firmware like that in which you would do the same thing except with game 150. But I would suggest just doing the game method first and see if that will work for you. It should work for most users out there. Anyways, once that has been transferred over, you can simply right click, eject, and now go over to your PSP. When you're back over at the PSP, make sure that you have your memory stick in with the filer installed. Go all the way down to game, memory stick, press X, and find PSP filer. Once you find it, simply launch it. You'll just have to go through the initial setup here by selecting your language. Once you're at PSP Filer, this might look a little bit daunting, but trust me, this should be easy enough. Just press the triangle button, and then press the right trigger to enable UMD ripping. And this will assume that you already have your UMD in the drive, so if you do not, make sure you pop your UMD in right now. Now, this should pop up here where it's going to take the game ID and assign it to the ISO itself. If you want to change the name of this right now, you can. I'm not going to. I'm just okay with this. So press the start button to continue once you are happy with that. And it's now going to begin dumping your UMD game onto the memory card itself. So make sure you have enough storage on here. Since this is a pretty fresh memory card, I should be fine on this, but this is going to require use of the memory card itself. If you do not have enough space on here or you don't want to dump to the memory card itself, the second method is going to show you how to do it directly through your PC, still using the PSP. But let's just wait for this to finish up. All right, so once it has finished ripping, you can simply press the X button to exit out of there. And now you can press the home button and exit out of PSP Filer, and that should be done. Uh, since your UMD is done being ripped, you can also go out of your way to remove the UMD 
from the system because at this point we do not need it. Now, since this has been successfully ripped over, we can go to Game Memory Stick. And as you can see, the ISO is now showing up for Killzone or whatever game you have ripped over. So even to show you all, there is no U of D in the system. I have the game itself out right now. But if we go over to Memory Stick, again, we can go in here and launch it just fine. So as you can see, that is working with no issue. What I'm going to do is exit out of this, take the memory stick out of the PSP, and I'll show you how you can grab the ISO from this. Once you have your game ripped over, make sure you have your memory stick somehow connected to your PC. Go over to the memory stick, find the ISO folder, and as you can see, this should be the ISO that you have dumped. So what I'm going to do is rename this to make it a little easier to find. I'm just going to call this Killzone Liberation, and I'm going to keep the ID there because why not? And at this point, you can copy this wherever you want to on your PC. I'm not going to be doing that yet, but that is really all you need to do if you're going to back it up using only your PSP. Of course, any PC steps I've done here have really just been easier renaming, copying the ISO onto my PC if I want to, as well as getting PSP Filer installed. But really, aside from the initial PSP Filer install or copyover, you can do this all from your PSP, thankfully. The next step here I'm going to show you is going to involve your PC, and you do not have to copy the ISO directly to the memory stick. So if you're running low on storage, you're going to copy this directly to your PC. But for this, again, you're going to need your same PSP modified, you're going to need a UMD game, and you're going to need a mini USB cable to have hooked up from your PSP to your PC. So let's get that set up. For this next game, I have a copy of Prince of Persia Rival Swords, which I just picked up and fixed up as well, which I now want to back up, so it's going to be all nice and safe. For this, I'm going to again pop this into my PSP and make sure it's working and can be read first off. And as you can see, it is working just fine. So for this, there's going to be a few options that I recommend you change. First of all, Open up the VSH menu. If you're on custom firmware, you can press the select button and this menu will pop up, which should make everything a little bit easier to find. Now, first of all, the top option, which is the XMB CPU clock. If you have overclocked your CPU at all for the XMB speeds, I'd recommend changing this to default. I ran into a few issues with this method when I had it clocked to the maximum speed. I'm not sure about underclocking it, but just be safe, let's change this to default if you have changed it for the time being. And the next thing you're going to need to do is change the USB mode. For USB device, by default it is memory stick, change it to UMD disk. And once you have made these changes, you can now go down and exit out of this. You can also bring it up again just to verify the changes have stuck, but once those have stuck, there is one more option that I recommend you change if you're on a 2000, 3000, or a street. For this, go to your system settings, find the USB charge setting, and make sure that this is off just so it doesn't interfere. If you do use this regularly, you can turn it on later, but just for the time being, let's keep the XMB to default speed, and we're going to turn off USB charging. You don't have to do this on a 1000 because the 1000 does not have USB charging. But once you have that off, all you need to do is go all the way up to USB connection, open up your USB connection, and from here, plug in a mini USB cable from your PSP to your PC. Over at your PC, it should show something a little bit different for your PSP. It's going to have the game ID as the name, and when you double click this, there's going to be a single ISO file. All you need to do is copy and paste this ISO file somewhere onto your PC. Now, you're going to hear it spinning up on your PSP, and once it starts, there we go. Now, because again, this is a PSP and we're dumping it off a of UMD, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. So as you can see, this is taking a bit longer than, you know, this is taking about 13 minutes or so. But for now, we can just exit out of this and wait for this to copy. All right, so as you can see, this is almost done copying over. And once it's done copying over, we should have the entire ISO on our computer. So with that done, what I recommend, first of all, is renaming this because whatever game 
you end up copying using this method, it will always be umd9660.iso, which is not very descriptive at all. So what I'm going to do is call this Prince of Persia Rival Swords, and I'll even put the ID in there of ULUS 10240. There we go. So now that is it. We have our ISO copied. So at this point, you can then press the back button on your PSP to disconnect it and get yourself back to the XMB. You can change back any of the settings you'd like to, but the main setting I recommend you change is going in and changing the USB mode back to memory stick. That way, once it's changed back, you'll be able to use your memory stick whenever you plug this into your PC, if that's your method of doing so. And that's actually what I'm going to do here, so I don't have to remove it. So what you can do is now at this point, if you want to copy that ISO over to verify it works, you can simply do that by connecting your memory stick to your computer, however you're going to. I'm going to do this by hooking my PSP up to my PC. And again, very simple method of doing this. Once you have this all pulled up, go over to your PSP's memory stick, ISO, and simply copy and paste the ISO from your computer over to your memory stick, assuming that you have enough storage on there. And after this is copied, we can then test it and verify that it works. All right, so now with that copied over, all we need to do is go back. We can eject this at this point and then go over to our PSP for the final stage of actually testing our ISO to make sure it works. From here, I'm simply going to go back and let's navigate to game. As you can see, there is no UMD here because I have the UMD in my hand right now outside of the PSP. Go over here and kill zone is there because I just copied it over, but our other game, Prince of Persia, is here as well. So let's go ahead, fire this up to verify that it works. And as you can see, it loaded right up, so this is working. So there you go, uh, a bit of a basic tutorial here, but I figured this could help out some people who weren't sure of how to copy over their ISOs. Uh, I would say, well, from the disc, I would say that neither is really better than the other, it just depends on what exactly you're wanting to do. Uh, for me, I find it more convenient to just hook the PSP up to my PC and copy it from there directly using the second method, but if you want to use PSP Filer, you're more than welcome to do that as well too. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.